I saw those burning eyes and people confident in the realization of the project. I said, now it is the right time, because there are no better conditions. There were risks when there was nothing at all, but now the risks are minimal, due to the fact that the technological period is almost completed. When I lived in barracks, I was lying under my blanket at night, you know, and I tried to run advertisements from my phone, I tried to somehow study information about the project. And there are people who say, it is unrealistic. While you are thinking, somebody else realizes the ideas and does not think about anything. They just do it. You can enter the project without investing any money. We do not need to buy anything to start working. No product, no packages, nothing. A person can simply start to understand the project today, study some information and earn money today as a partner and then invest in the project as an investor. Friends, hello everyone. Today we have a top partner of Solar Group, as well as a webinar presenter, Vitaly Branikov here with us. Vitaly, hello. I've known you for a long time. You're one of the old timers of our project. Thank you for agreeing to this interview, a new format for using the company. It is very interesting to talk to you, to hear your vision of the project, where you started and what results you have achieved. Tell us a little about yourself, where you live, what you do, how you found out about the project. Hello, hello, Alexandra. Thank you for inviting me to this wonderful interview. Yes, I'm always happy to share all information about the project. Maybe to help our new partners, investors, maybe new people who have been following the project for a long time, but are still somewhat looking out. I would like to say a little about myself. I've been following the project since its beginning, since 2017. I started investing by transfer to the card when there was no back office or official website. You know, it was like, there is a unique development here, there is an opportunity to invest. I'm a person, well, who agrees to everything new, let's say. It's not that I agree to everything, but it's like, I think, why not? Why not try it? I'm the person who sees the goal and does not see any obstacles. That is how I agreed, right away. And I did not start investing with a big package, I started slowly. The first package was for $500, then $2,000, $5,000, and slowly, well, I got engaged in partnership activities and I increased my investment package, because I see the potential of acquiring the company's shares. And I want to grow as an investor, and I grow as a partner as well. And actually, you know, my main activity, I am in the civil service. This is my main job. But this does not prevent me from combining investments and my regular work. That's great. What was the decisive reason for you? You know, something that pushed you to make the decision to become an investor in the project. The most decisive thing for me was the first meeting that took place at the Arma plant, I think, at that place. I don't remember exactly what it was called. The first meeting when I saw the Soul Group team, when I saw Dmitry Alexandrovich, when I saw the development. At that time it was only a motor wheel, no other ready-made copies were presented. Only a motor wheel. And partners and investors rode that motorbike after the conference. And of course, when they demonstrated that it was such a solid product, when I was convinced of it personally, I met with the team, then we talked only about plans, about goals. There was nothing in the project at all. But even then, I trusted people, because I saw those burning eyes and people who were confident in the realization of the project. That is why, well, it was close to me and I decided to join. Well, yes, we did not start from scratch, from an idea. The development itself has existed for quite a long time. Me too, do you know, has been developing it with his team since 1995. And there was already a finished product, the sensational, as you said, motor wheel, which could be tested in the field, right around, touch it with your own hands, see how the technology works. Excellent. I think it also played a role for many people that there is already a finished product, which is demonstrated. The technology itself is a finished product. 
And tell me, what were your expectations at the beginning and to what extent has the project met them to date? Yes, before I lose the thought, I want to answer the previous question as well. What caught my eye? I just thought about that. The original goal of the project itself is very global. That is, you know, after it is finalized, the project will change not just the life of one person or region, but in general it can affect the structure, the global world as a whole, the environment. That is, the production of electric motors using Slovakia technology is less costly in itself, less materials are used, less copper, electric or steel, and it is possible to control the emission of harmful substances into the atmosphere, less of it happens. That is what really got me at the time too, the fact that the project has such a global idea. And what I expected at the beginning? Well, generally, on a time scale, if you break down the project, some stages were completed very quickly. I expected that, well, that the first launch of equipment, the first tests, when the first equipment was purchased, I thought that it would take longer. But then came the first tests. New samples of motor wheels appeared. It all happened quickly. As soon as the equipment appeared, you know, it was like a snowball. The equipment appeared, then new tests, new samples, then parties in China. Viktor Aristov was promoting ASPP way high. And it was just like that, a lot of news. It was very large scale, it was developing very quickly. As of today, I've been to the design bureau myself, I've been to the special economic zone, I've seen the project realization, and I see that now it is coming to an end. The design and technological bureau is being completed now. It remains to perform some works. They are more intended for the comfort of people who will work there. For example, water filters are being installed, ventilation is being done. Otherwise, we can say that everything, the whole bureau has already been built. The main halls, departments, sections, everything has been realized 90%. It's just a matter of little things. And I'm very pleased with that. And I would like to mention that I have partners who have been following the project for a long time. And some of them ask questions like, now it's probably too late to invest or join the project, to engage in the development of the project. I tell them, now is the right time, because there are no better conditions, and there will never be. There were risks when there was nothing at all, but now the risks are minimal, due to the fact that the Design and Technological Bureau is almost completed, and the first orders for the development and implementation of the technology are about to be placed and accepted. So I think now is the right time. The risks are much lower compared to the time when we started. When there was nothing, as you say, there were transfers to a card, no back office, and there was no building that is already there in concrete and metal. This is such an ironclad argument for all investors who are invited to the project. Indeed, the time is now the best, because there are practically no risks left, and the conditions are still very good for entry. I cannot but agree with that. And I would also say something about the building. The building is really unique. You've seen it in person, you've walked around, you've seen all the machines that are already in place. They, they're being set up. You've seen it all. It's not just a building, just another factory. It is a unique building that is the only one in Russia. There are no similar projects. And you mentioned the comfort for people, including the fact that it is not just comfort, it is also high-class cleanliness. And what is it done for? To produce microelectronics. Because everything is mostly produced in the West, we do not do things like that. And now we'll have a building which will produce microelectronics with a high purity class. It's also worth noting. Tell me, please. Which future for the project do you see for the next 5 or 10 years? I think that if we take the project of Solar Group separately, well, I see a huge potential of Solar Group project. In the sense that now we have a very good base of people who invest specifically in the project client base who invest in doing of motors and after the realization of the project and it will happen 100 percent because the project has already been realized by 90 percent very small things are left like state commission first customers first orders 
first works. The development itself is very highly valued in the market. You just need a couple of orders and the project will pay for itself. And now there is a base of clients in Solar Group who will receive first dividends from the project doing of motors. And these customers will be the most loyal customers for the project. That is, Solar Group, as I see it for myself, will be looking at other innovative projects, other innovative business ideas that will be run on a turnkey basis. You could put it that way. I don't even know the right way or term to use. Solar Group will provide financing development of different departments for the functioning of the project. Marketing department, IT department. We can take the same IT development department or technical support service from the existing project. Do enough motors. Well, wherever you look, everywhere there is a team of specialists who do their work 100% precisely and well. Everything is on time. If there are some mistakes, flaws, people are quickly trained and immediately correct them. Solar Group is a functional, well-organized project itself, which it seems to me, you know, any project can be very quickly implemented by them because they have such a great base of employees and clients. Yes, in the future it is possible to run several projects at once. All the work, you know, all the structure, and it has already been said many times, all the work that partners have done will be preserved, all the structures will be preserved, and we will continue to work with all of that in the next project. What does it mean? It means that we will not stop just with one project, doing of motors. There are many more years to come. There will be more projects in the future. Tell me, what advice would you give to people who may only be considering investing in the project? You are an experienced person who have come such a long way in the project and you see already what results you have achieved. What could you recommend people? I would advise people to take a closer look. Not even take a closer look, but to start doing the project. Because, first of all, it means time that a person can devote to this project. You can start partnership activity as an additional income from absolute zero. You can enter the project without investing any money. This is essentially a network model of development, network marketing. But how do we differ from other network companies? We do not need to buy anything to get started. No product, no packages. Nothing. A person can simply start to understand the project today, study some information, and today as a partner earn money, and then in the future they can invest in the project as an investor. So first of all, you don't need any investments. Secondly, you can work from any location. All you need is the internet, not even necessarily a computer, just access to the internet. Thirdly, it is the type of work. That is, a new client can choose any convenient work of working with the project. It can be personal meetings, it can be some events, coding events, right? Some business meetings, business breakfast. It can be organizing and maintaining a group in social networks, a personal page in social networks, maybe launch of a text blog or video blog creating some online conferences. That is, a person, him or herself, chooses any way he or she wants to work with the project and simply does it at a time that is convenient for him or her. That is the beauty of it. You choose your own work schedule. Everything depends only on your efforts. People who want to, me for example, when I was living in barracks, you know, at night, under my blanket, with my phone, I was trying to run ads, I tried to somehow study information about the project. And there are people who say, it's unrealistic, it's impossible. There was not a single day that I ever regretted that I started to engage in partnership activities in the project. That is why I would like to say to all people who are just looking and thinking, well, I tell you, while you are thinking, somebody is realizing the ideas and not thinking about anything, but just doing. This is what I would like to say to new partners and clients. While someone is thinking, someone else is already acting. Absolutely. Vitaly, thank you very much for taking the time to share your vision with us.
It was really valuable. It was really nice and interesting to talk to you. You know, it's like, you know, taking a cup of tea in the kitchen and talking about life. Absolutely, it's very interesting to talk in this format. We just called each other and there is no tension, like you are in front of a thousand people, we just talked. It's been a long time, long time now, see, I was really happy to talk to you, always happy to, and especially when we speak about the project. Likewise, well, friends, we had Vitaly Branikov with us. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Write in the comments, do you like such format or not? Like us, dislike us, we have a lot of partners and each has his or her own story. Friends, thank you very much, those who watched it to the end. Be sure to like this video, to write a comment, your conclusions, share insights, ask questions. We are always interested in reading all of them. Vitaly, thank you very much. Thank you once again for your time. Thank you, Alexander. See you later. Bye, everyone.